Welcome to Instax. Today, let us see how you can use Instax platform to take your assessments and to practice with your account. So the first thing you need to be doing is visiting the biet.instax.com website. So once you open this website, you will find the logo of your college, the Nikola Institute of Engineering and Technology, which confirms that you are logging at your college. To log in into the system, please click on login button, which will take you to your login page. And when you are in the login page, please confirm that you find your college logo so that you, you can verify that you're logging at the right place. Please provide the email ID and the password of your account and click on login. Once you provide the right credentials, you should be logging into the system without any issue. And you can see two new things in the nav bar, which is dashboard and logout, which confirms that you have logged in the system successfully. So dash, clicking on dashboard will show all the activity that you have been doing, like uh, what are the assessments that you have attempted, what is uh, all the practice tests that you have attempted, and your details. From here, you can click on change password and set your own password. And you can click on logout button to log out from the system. To take any test, click on assessments tab in the nav bar. It should show you all the assessment test categories that are assigned to you. You can choose the assessment category based on the test that is currently in progress. I'm selecting for demo purpose, CPT practice. So to see all the tests that are present in this category, click on open, and you can see all the tests that are present in the category. You can start the test based on the instructions given to you. For this demo, I'm simply clicking uh, CPT test one, and I'm going to click on attempt. So on clicking attempt, I can see the test details, how, how many modules are present, and how many questions are there for each module, and what are the maximum marks, duration of each module, and if there are negative marks, you can see the status of the negative marks. And below the table, you can find the total duration of the exam, which is 45 minutes. And below that, you can find a message, which is you can attempt this test for one time. So make sure you read the message that is shown here and click on Start Assessment. On clicking Start Assessment, you will be taken to the instructions page. So you need to read, read all these instructions and these instructions are very important for your attempt. And once you read all the instructions and if you are okay with that, select this checkbox and click on Continue. On clicking continue, the exam will start and the exam paper will load. You can see I'm in the number systems section and I'm at the first question out of 15 questions that are present. And you can see the question and the options that are present for this question. And also what are the maximum marks for this question and if there are any negative marks, you can find the negative marks. So make sure you click the option which you feel right and click on save and next. And you can attempt like this for each every each and every question. And make sure you click Save and Next for each question that you're attempting. If you see the right side, you will find the question palette that will help you to jump between questions easily. So I can easily jump from to 15th question. Let's select this. And 10th question, let's select this. So I have marked around five questions. Let's mark a couple more. And yeah, and I'm good with that. So I can go to the fifth question. I can click on save and submit or else I can simply click on submit section. So let us do save and submit. And it gives an overview how many questions you have attempted in this section and read the message. So if this is the last section, this exam will be submitted. So this is not the last section. We have one more section. So clicking on S submit will take me to the next session. So next section, let us start letters series, continue next section. So the next section opens. So 
and marking the questions randomly, a couple of questions. Let us mark only five and let us submit the section. And on clicking as yes, submit, the exam will be submitted and I will be taken to the results page. So this is my result for the exam that I just attempted. You can see how much time you spent, how much marks you got, and what is the percentage, uh, accuracy of your assessment, and status if you are qualified or not, and the qualifying percentage. And if you scroll down, you can find sectional summary, which gives a section-wise report, which is in number systems, you have attempted seven out of 50. And how many are correct, how many are wrong, how much time you spent, what is the accuracy level to each and every section that is there. And also you can find the chapter wise summary. So this exam from number systems, 15 were picked and you were you attempted seven. Similarly, in letter series, letters and symbol series. So you attempted five out of 15. So you can find the chapter wise summary. And we have one more button called view solutions. And if you click this view solutions, you will be taken to the solutions page, which is helpful for you to review your attempt and see where, where you attempted correctly and where you attempted wrong. Yeah. So the solutions page will open and you can see what all the questions that you attempted and uh, which were marked correctly and which were marked wrong. Below, you can also find explanation for uh, which describes how the problem can be solved. So like this, you can navigate between each and every section and verify your result. So this is how you can take the assessments. To take the practice, so you can click on the practice tab in the navbar, which opens a practice categories page where you can see all the practice categories assigned to you. And you can open any practice category that you want. I want to do a C programming lab practice. So let us open C programming lab. And on opening C programming lab, I see there are six topics that I can practice in. So let us start with operators program. And if I click on operators topic, and I can see all the practice tests that are assigned to me. So for this operators topic, there are eight practice tests. So I can start any of the practice tests that I wish. Let us start the first test. To start the first test, uh, you find the start button at the test level. Click on that, and the practice paper will load. This is a coding. Uh, this is a coding lab, so all the questions are coding questions, and this is how the coding question looks like. On the left, you will find all the question information, and on the right, you have a question pal, uh, an editor where you can type your code. So to start coding, you need to select the programming language first. So which is C in our case, and we can start typing our program. I'm just writing a simple program to type hello world. I just wrote a simple program to print hello world. And to run the program, we have run code and submit code. Run code will help you to run your code against the public test cases so that you can see whether you are getting the right output or not. So in our case, it is an addition of two numbers, which is uh, 30 I'm expecting output to be, but I'm just printing hello world, which is not correct. So that's why the status is wrong. So clicking run code will help you to see, run your code against the public test cases and see if your code is working correctly or not. And after you think that your code is correct, the next thing you need to be doing is that sub clicking on submit code. For every coding question, be it in practice or assessment, you have to click on submit code. Otherwise, your code will not be validated against the private test cases and you won't be awarded any marks. So in our case, I just clicked on submit code. So the test cases have been executed and I can see both my test cases are failed, which is uh, valid because expected output doesn't match with what my output is being uh, returned from the code that I write. So like this, you need to attempt each and every question 
you can attempt each and every question and click on run code and submit code for the coding questions. So by any issue, uh, due to some any problem, let's say if your browser is closed or if you came out of the practice session or the assessment page, the next thing you need to do is like go to the, your dashboard and you will find assessment activity and practice activity. So click on view recent practice to see all the practice activity of your attempts. And you can see here, I have two practice attempts that are not yet submitted. So you can click on resume test and continue where you left off from your previous attempt. And similarly, for your assessment activity, you can click on new recent assessments in the dashboard and it will give you the recent assessments that you have taken. This is the lat latest assessment that we have taken and it is completed and we can find the new results. And if it is not completed, you will find a resume test button, which you can click and open your assessment and complete your assessment. <laughs>